Hello guys. So our topic for this time are flagellates. For the first part of the discussion, let's focus on intestinal and genital flagellates. Yeah. So nasa mastigophora na tayo. So let's start. So our mastigophora or flagellates, so their their uh, way of locomotion of its its locomotive Sorry, um, organelle, guys, is called your flagella. Yan. So if you're just going to review back your anatomy, actually, flagella, kung sa human, ang tawing may flagella class are sperm cell. So your flagella are actually made up of microtubules, kung naalala nyo. So here naman, um, the motor component is flagella and axoneme. So the microtubule in the protozoa class is called axonemes, inter interior portion of the flagella. So class axonemes are also part and dito are is also important part of your protozoa. Yeah. So axoneme is ang mga karakteristik rin yan na um, tinitignan natin sa isang protozoa. What else? Kinetoplast, naku, yan. So, kinetoplast, which consists of blepharoplast and parabasal body. Yan, makikita natin to sa ating mga leishmania at trypanosoma. Ang purpose daw nito, guys, is <coughs> for energy, metabolism, and support. They're not sure. However, yun. So, yung blepharoplast plus parabasal body equals kinetoplast. So, yun yung umbrella nila. So, pang met energy metabolism. Ito, para basal body lang meron, mga kapatid. So, wala siyang kinetoplast. So, under kinetoplast, kasi siyang para blepharoplast. So, para basal body lang ang meron dito. So, this is your Georgia lamblea or Georgia duodenale or Georgia intestinalis. Yan. Ito, alam niyo naman tong favorite ko. Itong trichomonas vaginalis. Ito, may blepharoplast si trichomonas vaginalis, pero walang parabasal body. So, pag meron yung dalawa, kinetoplast ang tawag sa kanila. Sa lesmania, makita natin later. So, we also have undulating membrane. So, undulating membrane is like a fin. May fin na rin sila connected to the outer edge. So, sa um, pag-aaralan, ang Ang tinitingnan natin is class um the the size or the entirety of the undulating membrane. So for Trichomonas vaginalis, it's it's half of its body. Yan it's um all throughout the costa. Yan mamaya. So ito yung undulating membrane. It's a fin-like structure. So not only they have flagella, but they have fin. But class, this fin is not for moving. Ah. Yung flagella ang for moving. And we have axostyle. Yan. So itong axostyle, it's a structure in the middle of the protozoa of the mastigophora. Ito, axostyle. Itong line. <laughs> Axo style, parang support to hold it all together, siguro. Yeah. So, class, um, in this discussion, we'll focus on the intestinal or digestive tract and genital organ flagellates. Yeah. So, mga Georgia, Carlomastix, Dianthamoeba, and lato may flagella, Enteromonas. So, class, yung Dianthamoeba fragilis, um, first it was classified as an amoeba. But when they check the electron microscopy, may flagella pala ang Dianthamoeba fragilis. Yeah. So, so on ang mga trichomonas natin. We have, for the next video, we have blood and tissue flagellates. <clears throat> so let's begin. Yeah. So first class is your Georgia intestinalis. Si Belisario, Georgia duodenale. Yeah. Your Georgia lamblia. Yeah. So class, yeah, it is the one that is considered as pathogenic among your intestinal flagellates. So this is the most clinically significant um, intestinal flagellate. So class, yeah, so it could cause georgiasis and malabsorption with your capillary of philippinensis. Huwag niyo kakalimutan na. So, dalawa ang main na nagkakos ng malabsorption. Capillary of philippinensis or pudocworm and your georgia intestinalis. We have steatoria, so excess. Um, you are passing out fat in your stool. We have traveler's diarrhea and gay bowel syndrome. Yan. So, sabi nila itong gay bowel syndrome daw, the Georgia intestinalis back then was transmitted through homosexual intercourse, ayan, anal to oral intercourse. Ayan. 
a mode of transmission, so contaminated food and water. So you have to filter chemically. We have to filter and chemically treat your um, Georgia intestinalis kasi daw hindi daw siya makuha ng routine filter lang. And oral anal sexual practices and it's yung fecal oral um, transmission. So it could be in water, in food, if you're not washing your hands, not good sanitation practices. And observe natin, guys. So first is the trophozoid and the cyst. And observe natin itong itsura ng Georgia intestinalis natin. So guys, it's bilaterally, bilaterally symmetrical. So, ang um, example, butterfly class, it's bilaterally symmetrical. Magkapareho yung right side, magkapareho yung left side. Yan. So, it's like a butterfly. Yan, pareho yung side, the same side nila. So, sabi nila, sabi nila, old sabi nila, old man's face or old man with eyeglass or old man with whisker or sabi ni Zai, big monkey face. Yan, sorry, monkey. Yan, monkey face daw ang Georgia intestinalis. Yan, or Georgia duodenale or Georgia lamblea. And class one characteristic also of your uh, Georgia, your Georgia is that it has a sucking disc. Yan, ito, itong malaking to. Yeah. So, sa isang side kasi bilateral. Yeah, it's a sucking disc. Yeah. So, it, this sucking disc is used to um attach attach itself to the duodenum, to the jejunum uh for feeding. Yeah. So, yun naka-attach sila sa <clears throat> Yun yung ginagamit nila to feed. Yan. So, this is really pathogenic and parasitic. It has four pairs of flagella. So, eight flagella in all. So, one in the anterior side sa taas. Yan. Dalawa, uh, dalawang pair rin sa baba. Dalawang pair dito sa may, sa may gitna. Um, near the sucking this and meron na ring dalawang pair, isang pair dito. Ayan. Sorry, ginulo ko na. Pwede bang i-undo? Erase. Ooh, galen. Okay. Ayan. So, yun, sucking this, yung mga flagella, dapat eight Ayan, four pairs. Anterior, posterior, and central. Dalawa sa central. So, yan, rod-shaped, deeply sta staining. Sorry, ano ba yan? Staining parabasal body. Ayun, yung parabasal body. Class parabasal body stains. Yan, nakikita yan. And class, I just want to say, mga flagella, hindi madalas nakikita. Ayan. Hindi naman talas nakikita ang mga flagella. Nucleus yan, nakikita sa staining yan. Yun, what else? We have two median bodies. Sorry, dami kong typo. And two axonyms. Median bodies and axonyms. It has a falling leaf motility. So, ang, ang leaf, di ba, ganun? Yan, I'll, I'll link a video on the falling leaf motility. So, ganun ang, ang, ang pag-move niya. Ayan. So, yun. Sucking disc, napaka-unique sa Georgia intestinalis. It's bilaterally symmetrical. Para siyang may specs dahil sa nucleus niya and sa karyosome niya. So, sa cyst natin naman, so, quadrinucleated. So, maximum of four nucleus. So, as it matures, para meram parami yung nucleus niya. So, immature, mga tulang. Pag nagiging mature, apat na nuclei. We have the median body. Ayan, median body. So, the cyst is resistant to routine chlorination. <clears throat> we have your axostyle. So, may nipis pa lang yung axostyle, axostyle at this point. And we have a space. Ibig sabihin kasi retracted. Retracted yung cytoplasm. It does not completely fill the cytoplasmic wall. Yeah. It's football shape. So class, the way to test for your Georgia intestinalis, class, hindi lang isang stool sample, but multiple alternate samples. Pwedeng, um, basta pag may symptoms, check lang, check lang. Ganun talaga. Kasi sometimes it's very difficult to capture this parasite. And there's better, um, actually, there's a higher, um, 
more probable way to to get your Georgia is to duodenal aspirate. One way to do it is also your string test or entero string test or entero test, wherein may capsule, weighted capsule na may tali. So, si patient, they will um, swallow the gelatin capsule and the string yan, will be attached here. Tapos, the, the after two hours, the gelatin capsule would remain in the stomach. Sabi ni Belisario, four to six hours. Yan. Tapos, kukunin ulit, kukunin ulit yung capsule and it will be examined under the microscope. Yan. Mas maganda daw yun na way. <clears throat> Kung siguro, sabi ni Belisario, four to six hours para talagang there's higher, um, there's more chances of winning. <laughs> Next, guys. So, andito na tayo sa mga non-pathogenic talaga or usually commensals. We have Kylomastix masnili. Yan. So, notice yung parang may bibig sila na malaki. So, this is your cytostome. Yan. It's one third to one half of the body. So, it's a very prominent um, part of your flagellate. Yan. So, sa Kylomastix, it's pear-shaped. Spherical nucleus. Class, one other characteristic is the spiral groove. Itong. <coughs> Yan. Ito yung spiral groove. Yan, spiral groove. Motility, spiral naman. Or boring. Jerky movement. The flagella apet only in the anterior and one in the from the cytostome. Ayun, puro wala sa posterior. Ayun, ito naman lemon shape or nipple like cyst because there's a protrusion here. Ayun. So, yun it's a hyaline knob. Ayun. It also has a defined cytostome. Ganda. Next class is Dientamoeba fragilis. Class I found out that Dientamoeba fragilis has been found um, with the transmission of entamoeba of of enterobis vermicularis and ascaris lumbricoides nasasama pag natatransmit ang ascaris lumbricoides maaring nakasakay doon sa mga ova ang mga dientamoeba fragilis same with pinworm and roundworm transmission Class, the best way to to uh, to check your diet and amoeba fragilis is permanent stain. Mam san yung amoeba, yan, you could, oh, ay, mam san yung flagella. You could only see it under electron microscope, yan. So it has two nucleus, however, the two nucleus are in the opposite sides. Yan, magkaiwalay, hindi magkadikit. So it also has ingested bacteria, yan. It has progressive, actually, may pseudopodia pa rin siya. Yan, kaya ano, parang yung isang ibang booklet parang amoeba flagellates ang classification nila. Pero for our study, para hindi magulo, flagellates tayo. Yan. So, yan, water mouth daw, water mouth, uh, distilled water. So, diantamoeba fragilis is the same size. Is um pag sa ibang pag kunyari, you will subject uh entamoeba histolytica cyst, other cyst um, and other trophozoites in uh, distilled water, they tend to swell and rupture. Pero ang unique sa diantamoeba fragilis class, it remains the same. Yeah. And also, in water mouth, there is Brownian motion of the granules, which is called Hakanson phenomenon, which is diagnostic of diantamoeba fragilis. Yun. So, may Hakanson phenomenon. This is the Brownian motion. Ano yung Brownian motion? Yan. I think this is the movement of your granules. Yan. So, yun. And also permanent stain. Yan. So, maraming parang um, trivia sa diantamoeba fragilis. <clears throat> we also have pentatrichomonas uh, hominis. I uh, yan tingnan niyo naman yung undulating membrane niya. It it spans the whole body. Yan. So we have flagella on the anterior side and flagella on the posterior side. So the axostyle extends beyond the body lumalampas sa katawan. So yung mga axostyle um unique yan sa mga trichomonas um 
or class mad ang nasa search ko na ngayon penta trichomonas hominis parang mas common na siya instead of trichomonas hominis so wala rin sa stage stage yan so yan flagella <coughs> jerky enteromonas hominis so how many flagella apat No cytostome, pati sa hominis, walang cytostome. Um, pear shape or half circle. Same di ito, nasa opposite side, magka-opposite side, opposite ends, yung mga nuclei. Yan. Sa cyst form. Retartomonas intestinal. So, plus this is not pathogen. So, yung mga unique dito, tinuang kit-kit naman ito, I think, parang Una ko siyang nakita, parang it's so delicate. Yan. Only two flagella, one nuclei. We have a cytostome in here. Yan. Ito yung fibril, itong line na to. Yan. So, cytostome. Ito yung fibril. Ito, bird's beak. Yan. Ito yung fibril. Parang ta-triangle. Two fused fibril. Yan. So, ang mga fibrils class is unique sa mga retartomonas. Ah, huwag kakalimutan. Yan. Lemon shape. Yan. Stained stool preparation class. Staining your stool for protozoa is uh, good in identifying their key characteristics. So, hindi talaga sa trichomonas. So, wala silang C-stage. So, class, sabi niya, infections with T-Vagenas are generally considered to be no signs. Yan. So, um, it could be cure. E, e, Malari lang siya i-cure. It's not that severe. Yan. And not a major pathogen. Hindi masyadong malala. Yan. So, there's nothing to worry about when you have trichomonas vaginalis. As long as you um, treat both of the partners. Yan. So, the specimen we use in trichomonas vaginalis is urine that was spun or centrifuge vaginal dis charge, urethral discharges for both male and female, and prostatic secretion for men. Yeah. And sa men kasi class, they are, it's usually asymptomatic. However, sa female, doon nagkakaroon ng symptoms, kaya doon nadedetect pag nahawa na ang babae. And class, ang nagkakaroon ng strawberry cervix. When you have trichomonas vaginalis kasi, namamaga ang cervix. Yeah. Standard methods with preparation, yeah. NSS, iodine, permanent staining, face contrast, pop smear. Yeah. We have culture method and DNA-based assay. Affirm VP3. Yeah. So, class, ang pinakamalaki sa kanilang mga trichomonas ay si ang ating vaginatis. Next is your pentatrichomonas, hominis, and your tenax. Yan, pinakamaliit. So, notice, class, their undulating membrane, their costa. Yan, may costa. Ito yung costa. Their axostyle, kung lampas katawan ba, your flagella. <coughs> Yan, okay, so yun, penta trichomonas intestine, tenax, oral cavity, trichomonas vaginalis, genitalia. Yan, both men and women. So, pinakamaliit si tenax, pinakamalaki si vaginalis. So, class, mahalaga ang size, ha? So, imagine nyo, ang red blood cell, 6 to 8 micrometer. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, pag labampas na nun, eh, mas malaki sila sa red blood cell. So, around 10, mga kasing laki ng WBC. So, 30 micrometers. Malaki to. <coughs> Kitang-kita to. Tenax, maliit lang siya. Yan, flagella. So, around 3 to 5. Undulating membrane is as long as the costa of the pentatrichomonas tenax or it spans the whole body. <coughs> Two-thirds of the costa ang tenax and one-half or less than ang vaginalis. So, maliit yung uh, undulating membrane niya. So, rapid and jerky daw. Magalaw itong mga hominis and vaginalis. Tenax, yan. Pakicheck nga kung may motility ang tenax. In the inclusion bodies, they have siderophil granules in your trichomonas vaginalis, guys. Um, specimen for diagnosis since hominis in the gut, so stool, oral scraping sa tenax, and <coughs> secretion sa 
vaginalis. Yan. So, the mode of transmission of vaginalis is sexual intercourse. However, guys, it could be passed from the mother to the child. Mas lalo na kung during that time is may trichomon niya si C, mother, pregnant mother. So, yun, it could cause infant infections. Yan, infant infections, yun, persistent urethritis, persistent vaginitis. Yan. So, in male, the trichomonas stays or dwells in the epididymis, epididymis prostate, and urethra. Ayan. So, yeah. So, class, in muna for part one. I'll see you again.